Hey, Sandra, it was spectacular here at the Great Lawn. At about 2 o'clock, this lawn had filled in with tons of people who were here for this great expanse, the newly planted grass, and this communal setting for a celestial event. Wide open area, basically no buildings in the way. So yeah, I think this is a perfect spot if you're in New York City. Which is why so many people made their way to the Great Lawn to take in a sublime spectacle. Friends Sharice and Mariah didn't want to miss it. I definitely was like, okay, I'm going to make sure to like make a memory out of it. And I think this is a good way to make a memory in Central Park. I wanted to see it around people, not like a bunch of, bunch of buildings and trees. So Central Park felt like the best spot. These boys were taken out of school early for this site-specific science lesson. We learned about the clips in science. I feel like it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Yeah. And in your very long lifetime, you have yet yeah. to experience yeah. this? A, a whole 12 years. <laughs> From baby's first eclipse to Melinda Myers, who rested her head on a Zabar's bag and lamented, this could be her last eclipse. I'm crying. I mean, this is probably going to be my last mm. eclipse because I'll be 90 or 92. The next time. The next time. But if she is around then, she intends to watch. You can like see it moving. And at its peak, the sky darkened slightly and there were audible oohs and ahs. <laughs> and joy at having witnessed this moment. For a second, it looked like it was just like a crescent moon, but orange, but I just kept getting smaller and smaller. And I was like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna see something like this ever again in my life, so. Pretty incredible. And Luis Yunda didn't just watch, he captured it all with his camera and special lens. So ever since I was, I was a little kid, I loved astronomy, reading and watching documentaries on the universe. So uh, this, I figured, combine my passion from my youth to my current passion, which is photography, best of both worlds. the best of both worlds. And we know that New Yorkers can be a tough crowd, but I have to say everyone here seemed particularly thrilled. The audience very happy with the show the sky put on today. Live in Central Park, Lauren Glassberg, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.